Hello everyone, this is Sebastian McMahon from IA Financial Group, and I'm back with another Economy and Finance 101 video, this time on portfolio diversification. So sure you've heard the word diversification time and time again. Why do we talk about it so much? What is it? How do we do it? So here, try to make it simple for you. So in a nutshell, diversification is combining multiple assets within a portfolio to reduce the volatility of returns. So returns over the long run of course for asset classes for individual stocks individual bonds they tend to be volatile but if you hold a, a diversified portfolio you'll still have interesting returns but you can lower uh, in often quite drastically the volatility of, of these returns so have a smoother ride in your portfolios so that's diversification so how, how does that work so when you have uh, assets that uh, that uh, that are put together in a portfolio, if they have low correlation, so that means that they won't be reacting the same way to all of the economic shocks and market shocks that happen. So you have a smoother ride, and some of these moves will cancel each other up. Ideally, if you have some assets that are negatively correlate correlated, like for example stocks and bonds, so it's not perfect relationship, but typically when you have positive economic news, you'll have stocks doing well and bonds doing not so well. So generally, and when you have negative economic news, then that tends to be good for bonds and negative for stocks. So if you mix the two together, then you can have the expected long term returns of each way together and you can have moves that cancel each other out. So you have a better risk adjusted return of your portfolio when you hold the two together. So you don't need to hold the 100 the assets or 200 assets to benefit from diversification. A study showed that after only five assets in a portfolio. So starting from about five, you get benefits from diversification and the benefits tend to plateau at around some, somewhere around 20, 25 assets. But now it depends on what you put together. So the lower the correlation or ideally the more negative the correlation between the asset classes, then the better the diversification benefits will be. So you'll have a smoother ride in your portfolio. So it's kind of a free lunch. The just pooling uh, assets together, you reduce volatility. So risk adjusted return here is the key matter. So year over year, quarter over quarter, I mean, diversification helps because the markets can be volatile, but even in the long run, so if you build a 50-50 portfolio, so 50% stocks, 50% bonds, then that means that the if you compare that to a completely uh, stock uh, portfolio, uh, the, the highs, the better years, of course, would be better for the all stock portfolio than the 50-50 portfolio. But the worst years will be much better for the 50-50 portfolio than for the 100% stock portfolio. So you get those benefits and over the long run, uh, you, you the, the odds that you have negative returns on a positive, uh, on a balanced portfolio, diversified portfolios are very, very small. So there's benefits in the short run and also in the long run. So diversification, that's just it. Uh, every, anyone can do that. You can you can have uh, five assets or more, five asset classes and more, and you get the benefits of diversification. The idea is to have low correlation between your assets and ideally some assets that are negatively correlated with others. So that's all I wanted to share today about diversification. So if you found that interesting, you can always go to ia.ca slash economy. You will find more economy and finance 101 content there. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.